Hello guys, GRTV. It's a brief breakdown. Uh, the power of the mind. You know, I, I do, in my exercises, I do a one-two count. It makes it easier. So for push-ups, I, I count like, I go press one, two, and then I take a pause in my mind with the count, and then three, four, and then five, six, and it makes it go by easier. The same, the same if you do other, other, obviously other exercises. Another thing is to, you really got to know yourself and really know how much you want to do and, and be able to either spontaneously do push-ups right away or jumping jacks just to start, feel good. Or if you're actually into doing some weights or, or running, then do that. And you have to know exactly when to slow down for a bit running and maybe start back up. You've got to really know, get to know your body, and, and that, that happens over, over over the course of time. And and um, like I always keep a set of dumbbells. Um, for everyone, it's different. You should have, I, 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 you should have at least one set around so you can do it instantly. Do a set of squats or or curls, you know. Um, and other things, the power of the mind is. Uh, the ability to, like when it rains and I feel cold, I imagine the air is, I'm being ionized and purified by the rain. Uh, when, when, uh, when it's really cold, I heard some advice to imagine there's a fire and that it's really hot and it's burning you. Um, you can, even in other situations, like when it's, it's, it's unpleasant and hot, say you're working on a roof or attic and it's sunny, you can just say, oh, I'm in a sauna, it's, you know. So you, what you do is you redefine the energy of, of your, inter your mental interpretation of what's going on. And even for mean or bad people, you can say they help the rest of society get close together and be stronger and make society better. So even if you don't like that person and it's best that they, the community executes them humanely, even if that's the case, then you're making society better for their future incarnations. So sometimes when I look at people, I don't like them as they are, but I think of it in terms of, well, you know, I want this person's future incarnation to be good. And, and so, and, and another uh, ongoing issue is this, um, this idea of um, that, that people wish they had other people's bodies or wish they had a different body. I wish I have my own body, and I don't wish for, like, uh, larger um, features, like, you know, e even, even um, be, be it um, dick or breasts or ass or anything. I, 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 what I'm noticing is it seems the best bodies are ones that are a little more androgynous, and I don't mean that in a way of like because I'm biased against people who aren't or anything like that uh, but I just mean that I think it'll be, be easier for people to get along and for society you know if society all incorporates different cultures and we all become cosmopolitan citizens you know world citizens and more universally oriented what happens is people get along better and part of that is just intelligence general intelligence the ability to you know write down your thoughts and be your own therapist the ability to do your own research and uh, take proper care of yourself and look out for sa safety things like you know wearing proper safety glasses or you know b even being your own security guard and, and strategist avoiding the wrong place at the wrong time Value, value in your money, you know, even if you only have a hundred dollars, think of it in terms as if it was twenty thousand dollars, you know, and, and think of how somebody would be more careful with that. That's one mistake people make. Another is they they spend money as if they're either going to, as, as if they've got more money coming or they just haven't thought that they might need emergency money for a taxi or an extra one, two, three, five, ten thousand in emergency for whatever it is. And if, especially, of course, if you're going to have children and everything, and you want to have a stay-at-home mother, then you want to, uh, obviously, 
uh, look out for them. But the point, the point is, um, is to really want good for people, whatever their health, age, body type, if they have wealth or not, want good for them, um, and want good for society in general. Thank you for, for checking this out. Aloha.